Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor here from Docs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be making a Q command. Now, this is the next video in the music series. I believe we're up to about episode 7 now, and I hope you have been enjoying the series so far. So, to start us off with, I just want to make sure that everyone knows that you will need to require rich embeds from the discord.js module as well as strip indents from the common tags module. Now, this is our normal structure here in the module exports, the um, global exports of obviously Node.js, the runtime environment here. To start us off with, we're going to do the generic stuff. We're going to do const player equals bots.music dot players dot get and then we're going to input the message dot guild dot id in here adding a semicolon to finish that line next what we're going to do is we're obviously going to check if the player exists or the player queue if there's anything in the queue and then if not what we're going to do is return a message stating now this message is going to state no song currently if i can type currently playing uh playing in this guild and then obviously adding a semicolon at the end there. Now to start us off, what we're going to do is we're going to do let index equals one at a semicolon. And then we're going to do let string, looking at that equal just an empty string. Now we are going to basically be doing a couple conditions checks here. So if um, the player has just the uh, normal uh, queue here, what we're going to do is we're going to add string plus equals now this is gonna plus and equals and then we're gonna pretty much just add um, underscore underscore current currently playing and this is gonna add the current song here um, and we're just gonna add the new line here and we're gonna do I believe it's just player dot Q um, get the first element here and then grab the title Next in line, we're gonna add a dash and we're gonna say, uh, I believe we're just gonna have it as requested. So we can just requested by, um, and then just player, and then we'll grab the first element from the queue yet again. And we're gonna do, I believe it's just gonna be requester, a requester. And then obviously because we store the user object from discord.js, we can pretty much use any property that is given. So we can have username or you can have tag or you can have the ID, such and such. But we're just gonna go with that today. So what we're gonna do is go outside of here, just add the markdown and add the new line. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna check if the player has a second element in the queue. We're gonna do string plus equals and we're going to pretty much do the same thing. However, what we're going to do is we're just going to say rest of you. We're going to have underscore new line yet again. We're going to have player dot q dot slice. And this is where this uh, array slice comes in handy. We're going to have one to 10 here. So it's only going to display the first 10 songs in the queue. And what we're going to do is we're going to map that array and inside what we want to map is we want to have the uh, index so we're going to also increase the index every time so that's where you want the plus there um actually what we'll do is we'll have uh that bolded add there we go next in line what do we have next in line so we have x uh dot title if i can choose the right brackets x dot title and then after that, we are going to have the requested. And now what is, actually, I think we could just pretty much copy this right here. Uh, yeah, pretty much we can copy this right here. However, we'll need to change the uh, stuff. So we need to do X, no, we don't even need this stuff. We just need X here, x.requested.use. And then obviously the stuff there. When we are done with that, we want to join it. And now what do we want to join it with, guys? We want to join it with a new line here. Um, just remembering semicolons, not necessary to an extent, uh, depends on what the code is, but it also, let's just promote good practices here. Um, so next we're going to do const embed, new rich embed. And now we're going to have an author, a thumbnail and a description. So I'm going to set the author first. You want to start from the top of the end of it. Stop at the end. Uh, Jesus Christ, what is English? We want to start from the top of the embed and make our way down here. So we're going to start with the author and then we're going to say current u4. And then we're just going to shove the uh, message guild uh, dot name in here. 
and what we want to do is also have the message guild icon uh, icon URL. Next in line, we want to set the uh, thumbnail. Thumbnail is next, and then what we want in the thumbnail is player Q. If I can spell Q, there we go. And then we want in we want to grab the uh, thumbnail of. That's not what I want. We want to grab the thumbnail from the uh, song that's played at the moment and set description. And in that, literally just want to put the variable string in there. Add a semicolon. Next, we'll go down. We will return message.channel.send. We're going to send the embed now. So that is the command done, done, did, done, dibbity, dumb. I just remembered that we don't actually end up using this common text module, so just get rid of it. No need to require it. Now that is done. What we're going to do is we're going to head over to Discord, and once we're in Discord, I will show you that this Q command does work, and then we'll end off the video there. Just before we head over, we're going to show the advertisement from Oxide Hosting, so I'll catch you guys on the end of that. Today's video is proudly powered by our partner, Oxide Hosting. Get your products hosted by them with their cheap, reliable services. So what are you waiting for? Check them out in the description below. So we are all started up here. Now what we want to do is play some songs. So we'll go again and play Crossfire. Pick the first song and also uh, we'll, we'll play non-copyright sounds. We'll add a, another non-copyright sound. So we'll add third and then we'll add next one here and then we'll just do the first again so we have the q, q command all loaded up and we just want to run the q command oh i must have done a little oopsie here uh, no player up yep so what we want to do is we want to add this here i'm just going to quickly have to restart the bot and i'll be right back so we're all started back up here uh next what we want to do is obviously go back and play some stuff here up for that I play non-copyright sounds as well. Uh, we'll just shove like two songs in there, no copyright sounds. And then uh, we'll just uh, put the, the fifth one in there, why not? Now let's try the Q yet again. So as you can see, we've got the Q in here. It's gonna say who is requested by, it's gonna say the Q, uh, the song name. Um, it's gonna say the currently playing song and obviously the thumbnail for that song there. Now that is the video for the day guys. Anyways, guys, that is the video for today. I appreciate you all coming out and watching this video. The Q command has been requested throughout the last couple videos. I'm happy to have brought it today, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm not entirely sure what it's going to be, but I'll let you know when it's coming. Been Connie here from Bingy Docs, and I hope you have enjoyed. Peace.